So the wheel that you guys always ask about, the one, the bronze five spoke that's to the left of his head, what is that wheel? I want it, it looks awesome. The Conte KMP, well guess what? If you want one of these, now's your chance to win a set of these because for the month of March, we are doing a giveaway with Conse Wheels. The easiest way to enter, pick up one of these t-shirts. I'll turn around so you can see the back. Probably my favorite design giveaway t-shirt that we've done so far. Absolutely awesome, fibbinindustries.com. Head on over there, pick up a t-shirt, get entered to win. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're here to talk about airlift suspension and the differences in the lineup of airlift suspension. So let's go ahead and take a trip back in time to 1949 Lansing, Michigan. Claude Pemberton and Don Perkins founded Airlift Company, or otherwise known by most of us today as Airlift Performance. Now, as many of you may know, Airlift Performance really came into the public's eyes during the 50s and 60s by sponsoring a lot of stock car racing teams who were running airlift springs on their car. Now, fast forward to today, where we have seen a huge transition and advancement of technology that is being put into not only air suspension itself, but also into the management that goes along with it. With Airlift Performance, we see that they offer a multitude of different management options. You have the manual option, you have the V2, you have the 3H, and you have the 3P, and then you have the 3S. But what exactly are the differences? Why are there so many different options offered? Well, don't worry. We got you, like always, that's what we're here for. So starting off with the first option, you'll probably see the manual management. Now, the manual management option is pretty much just that. The manual air management system that Airlift offers consists of a paddle valve control that is mounted within reach of yourself while you're driving the vehicle. So you can control each corner of your car with no digital readouts, no sensors, and no electronically controlled valves. It's basically just a compressor, a tank, and four paddles on your dashboard. Most of the time you'll see a manual air management system on classic cars or hot rods, but it's also a great option for someone who's looking to get into air suspension, but on a little bit of a budget, but still wants to run air on their car, they'll run a manual system most likely. So what happens if you're a little bit of a perfectionist? What if you want to know how much pressure is in each airbag of the car? What if instead of four paddles on your dashboard, you want the ability to choose from user like preset ride heights or raise and lower all four corners of the car at once with the push of a button? Well, enter the Autopilot V2. Airlift's Autopilot V2 management system gives you the benefit of a digital display along with eight programmable presets to compensate for almost every possible situation. So things like having an extra passenger in the car, going up a steep incline or a driveway, going through some rough roads, or if say if you're heading out of town for the weekend to go to a car show, you're spending the night somewhere and your girlfriend tags along, so your back of your car is packed with enough stuff to survive a god <laughs> apocalypse. You know, you have a preset for it. The V2 system also features a super compact manifold that's easily installed with only having to worry about wiring three things, your power, your ground, and your ignition. Like with most airlift kits, you can have the option of running either a quarter inch or a three eighths inch airline and have the ability to run dual compressors and tanks. So cool, right? I mean, you can't get much more than that out of an air management. Like, like that's enough, right? Like that's, that's good? Wrong. A few years back, Airlift introduced the 3H and 3P lines. The P standing for pressure and the H standing for height and pressure. So starting with the 3P, we see all the benefits from the previous V2 management with the introduction of a brand new controller. The ability to take control of your system from a free mobile app and a fully integrated manifold. Then building off of that, we get the 3H system. Now this being the most expensive system that Airlift currently offers, the 3H gives you the ability to adjust and monitor both pressure and height using the height sensors that you attach to the suspension of your vehicle. Now, now, it's not the only thing that these sensors provide. Remember how when we were talking about the V2 system and the ability to choose between different presets for different situations? Well, with the 3H system, the management is constantly adjusting for changes in vehicle load to maintain the same ride height. So when you're going down the road and like say something in your trunk shifts or like something happens, it's gonna automatically adjust for that. And that's where the difference between that and the pressure-based systems really begins. So we might just even do a video about that in particular in the near future. So now we've gone over the manual system, we've gone over the V2, the 3P, the 3H, and there's still one more out there. In 2018, Airlift announced the 3S management system. So coming in hot with an entry level price point, the 3S offers a fully integrated manifold that was designed for the 3H and the 3P, the built-in Bluetooth for the mobile app to control everything, but leaves out all the bells and whistles per se of the 3H and the 3P. So instead of having a physical controller 
for the system. It all runs off the app on your phone. So the 3S system was launched to break the stigma of air suspension being super expensive and unobtainable for a lot of people. So basically what it all comes down to is what is going to work best for you and what you're going to require from an air suspension system. So hopefully this helped clear up some questions that you may have had regarding airlift management lineup, the differences between the 3H and the 3P, the 3S. We know we get asked about it all the time. If we didn't cover anything you have a question about, drop it in the comments below and we'll of course be sure to answer it for you. And of course, if you're looking to pick up an airlift setup or AccuAir or coilovers or wheels, tires, lowering springs, anything like that, fitmentindustries.com, that's the plug. Also, don't forget we're doing the awesome giveaway with Conse through the month of March. Like I said, easiest way to enter, snag one of these t-shirts. We'll drop the link in the description down below. But that's going to wrap it up for us today. I'm Gels. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later. Peace.